Hey everybody, I am really excited to bring you this cabin tour. We are on Viking Octantis. This is Viking's first expedition ship. We are staying in a Nordic Junior Suite and it's got so many features that are just built for expedition cruising and let's take a look around. Okay. So here we are in the large space. Now the biggest thing you're going to notice about this cabin when you come in here is it's got so many drawers, cabinets, uh, cubbies, dressers, everything, wardrobes, closets, everything you can need for expedition cruising when you want to pack a lot of gear, a lot of extra layers. It's got it all in here. It's more than 330 square feet. And let's take a look at the bed area first. It's got a couple of uh, nightstands on each side with the European plug, the US plug, and two styles of USBs, a reading lamp on each side. Adjustable lamps here, master control light switches. Um, underneath you can store luggage under your bed, but you probably won't need to with all the other cabinet space you have. You've got a little seating area, which is nice. Some decor, some shelving. This is a couple of drawers here, which we'll never get to use. We're on for 10 days and we don't have as many items, but you can find all sorts of places to store space, uh, store things to keep organized on your trip. They do give you some uh, binoculars to use when you're on board. They do travel the polar regions like Antarctica um, and the Arctic. And then we are in the Caribbean right now. So we won't be needing uh, this item, but this is a great feature every cabin has is a drying locker. It's got your PFD for when you go out. Um, you might store your parkas in here when you're in Antarctica boot drying racks and a little switch you turn it on and it heats and dries your gear every day for you on this side of the bed there's a closet with some uh, cabinets drawers in there as well they give you robes uh, an umbrella all sorts of things they, they pretty much think of everything uh, you have a large screen TV it has multiple channels cable TV videos on demand TV shows another dresser two long ones in the middle and a couple on the side a little desk area your devices for when you're going on excursions over on the desk you have your USBs, again your US and European plug outlets, another US one on the side here, and then these flip up. You're going to have a makeup mirror and organization for makeup and things like that, jewelry maybe. And so you can get well organized. I like this little um, bench at the end of the bed for putting on your shoes getting ready to go out for dinner and such. And there's even more storage in here. Some cabinets, this is your coffee service. And then this is more of your plates, your bottle openers. Laundry service is included. Um, with this Nordic Junior Suite, you get certain amenities like laundry included and a selection of Miniatures and other alcoholic drinks are included for your mini bar. And this side, more closet space. Some more shelves and drawers, and that's the safe. And for shoes, hangers, and it just keeps going all the way down here way more space than we need which takes us into the bathroom this is a nice large bathroom his and her sinks his and his sinks hers and her sinks whatever a couple of sinks and you can see all the space a towel warmer this floor also warms with a flip of a switch anti-fog mirrors and a large walk-in shower 
They provide you with your body wash and all your toiletries. Very well organized and some storage space underneath as well. So this is an amazing suite. We're enjoying it. I'm going to show you one thing though, a feature. Tell me if you think this is weird in the comments below or not, whether you prefer it. Now I really like to have a balcony on an expedition ship. They don't have any traditional balconies on Viking Octantis. Instead what they have is called a Nordic balcony, which kind of brings the outdoors inside to your cabin. You don't get to actually walk outside. You have some controllers on the wall over here. This raises and lowers the shade. But to convert this to a Nordic balcony, you have another controller, and I'll go ahead and hit this. You can bring the window down halfway. So there you go. It comes halfway down, so it sort of approximates a balcony. You have the nice railing here, and you can get the fresh air, uh, effectively stick your camera, binoculars out, I guess, see the scenery as it goes by. Uh, you wake up every morning and you're in a new place, and, and you get the warmth of the cabin. You can be in this area and sort of enjoy the outdoor space. I personally like to maybe walk out, get some better angles on stuff, but tell me what you think. This is uh, how they do it on Viking Actantis. Incidentally, there are some more plugs we found down here, the USBs at the end of the couch and the regular outlets. And that is your cabin. We are in number 4001, and this is on the starboard side, a little bit toward the front. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.